Hi, this is Andy Chapman here again with Birmingham United FC and I'm here to have my players demonstrate some of the skills of soccer. We're moving on now, we're talking about control and as you notice the players here, the first, the first control that we're going to work on is with the, with the laces, cushioning that ball down. The boys are moving through this routine, notice as the ball comes in, they're taking the weight out of that ball. They're cushioning that ball on their laces and passing the ball back to their teammate. Sometimes they might want that ball to go along the ground to their teammate. Sometimes they might want to flick it up to their chest. For any, any great soccer player, any good soccer player for that matter, not only do you have to be able to pass that ball, but when that ball gets passed to you, you have to be able to control it. This is one of the easiest ways to control a ball with the laces, pushing in that ball down. Something you should all work on each and every day to get better with that control. Right, now we're moving to the thigh. In soccer, obviously, the ball doesn't always come to you at the intended height that you would like to use your laces all the time. It comes at various different heights during the game, and you have to have the ability to use any part of your body to control this ball. We're now going to show you how to control this ball with your thigh when that ball arrives to you and it's at a different height. So the boys can just go through, cushioning that ball with the thigh. Sometimes they want to maybe cushion and hit it back on the volley. Sometimes they might want that ball to come down to their feet. They, can have, they have the ability to use either right thigh or left thigh. Notice how they cushion that ball to make it stick to them. They want to keep that ball under control. Anything that doesn't stick obviously gives the other team the advantage of trying to get win possession of that ball. You've got to have a feel for that ball, what weight that, that ball has to be passed back. Left and right thigh. We now go further up the body. We've gone from the thigh, now the ball arrives at a different height. You can use your chest. So the boys are going to demonstrate right now, if that ball comes up high, how they bend their backs and they cushion that ball on their chest, right where the badge is, there it is. Again, varying it, hitting that ball back on the full volley, letting it drop for the half volley. Notice how they arch their back and they absorb the energy of that ball that's coming in. And we're going to move up the body now because people don't realize sometimes that in soccer you can use your head to score goals, you can use your head to defend, but you can also use your head to control the ball. Again, they're going to show us how they control the ball as it comes to them head height, how they're going to absorb that energy of that ball and control the ball, get it down and pass. Pop it up to yourself, there it is. See how Zach absorbs that energy? There and passes back. This is a great technique to have, to be, able, to be able to have the ability to control a ball with your head. Soccer is the only sport in the world where you can use your head to actually play the ball. So to become a great player, obviously passing, control are two, two things that you, you must have. 